guys, what's up? I'm back here today with a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bricks Glycerin 16. So here she is. What is up? So the new Brooks Glycerin 16 is now officially part of Brooks's cushion line, which is uh, using their DNA loft technology in comparison to the previous review that I just did over the Levitate, which uses their DNA amp technology, aka they don't have to call you a thing. <laughs> TPU, better known as TPU. So the main things that Brooks claims about their new Glycerin 16 is that it has a two-way stretch upper, so, oh, well, first of all, it it's $150, it weighs 9.4 ounces for women and 10.6 ounces for men. The shoe is a 10 millimeter drop, high cushion, neutral, and it's also supposed to have this new two-way stretch technology, which is basically where the shoe is going to adapt to your foot rather than you have to break in the shoe and adapt it to fit to your specific foot type, which is something that is very common. We've seen it in Adidas through their Tech Fit Upper, and we've seen it through Saucony with their ISO Fit that they're going into for all of their shoes now. So this is the guy. It's supposed to be or this is the girl. She's supposed to be high cushion, neutral, uh, very, very responsive cushioning. Or that's actually, I think that this is, this is where my internal battle begins. I'm used to running in the previous models of the Glycerin, and it's always been a more responsive ride for me. It was very comparable to, say, the New Balance 1080. Maybe not as firm, but definitely that high cushion, bouncy feel. And... Oh, sorry, the lighting is changing a little bit. Um, but with this new guy, I guess that maybe because they went with their DNA loft technology and really wanted to concentrate on it being cushioned, this felt very cushiony to, to me, almost on the... Uh, can I not talk? Okay, so this felt very cushiony to me, almost on the mushy side, which homegirl, not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. So, anyways, um, they're... Their new technology being their DNA loft is now a lot more soft to me, or that's what I felt when I put the shoe on, almost borderline mushy. The first few rides I went on, the first few times I ran on the shoe, it almost felt like I was trying to, like I, my toes were sinking into the shoe, which isn't something that I'm ever used to feeling, feeling with, uh, with Brooks, but, and it felt a lot more wide than what I'm used to. Normally Brooks, the Brooks Glycerin has run a little bit more narrow and I've heard of people ripping through the outsides of the shoe so that's where I feel like that uh, two-way stretch really came in hand and I'm really glad they got rid of those inseams that they normally have. But I feel like, I don't know if you can tell, but I definitely cinched this guy in a little bit more than normal. It's fine. I'm here for it. It doesn't bother me. I'd rather have more room than not enough room. Especially if you guys remember that. So, since I don't normally get enough room in the toe box, this, this was a very comforting feel. But like I said, it did feel like a little slow. It did feel a little clunky. It did feel a little heavy. Even though I had just ran the Levitate and I wasn't the biggest fan of, this guy, I like the cushioning behind it, but it felt heavier than the Levitate, which is crazy because it actually weighs less than the Levitate. But apart from that, really enjoyed the shoe. I will say, when I ran with it with this little sock liner in there, the shoe felt extremely hot. It felt very, very hot. So I thought that it was just the shoe itself, but I pulled out the foam liner and put my regular insoles that y'all know I always run in. And that hot feeling went away, so, um, I don't know. That's the one, that's the one downer that I really noticed was that my foot felt super, super hot. And I was just thinking, like, I got the freaking white shoe. I can't imagine what it would feel like to get a darker color. I can't imagine how hot it would be, given I do live in Texas, so it's just all the way around just hot. Um, but yeah, no, apart from that, I mean, the... The Glycerin only updated well, so if you like the previous models and you wanted a little bit more cush, then you're going to love this guy. It feels really good. The only thing I didn't like about it was that it felt a little bit heavier, but you're, that's to be expected with a higher cushion shoe. Apart from that, they fixed that toe box issue they were having. They got rid of those little 
I don't know if y'all remember the little like lug thingies that popped out of here. They got rid of that so the wear pattern on it is going to be a lot better. You'll wear it a lot more gracefully. I, I assume I haven't really gotten to that point where I've broken down the shoe but I can imagine it wearing a little bit more gracefully. And I did go on a couple walks on in it unintentionally and I think that a lot of walkers would like this shoe because it's soft yet firm to like it's soft I wouldn't say firm but it's it's I could see it being a good walking shoe I actually enjoyed walking in it more than I enjoyed running in it but I think it's just because I'm a smaller person so I, I really feel that extra weight and especially because I run in a lot of different shoes I think that moderate cushion is kind of my little niche area and this was a high cushion so I was aware of the extra weight but apart from that I think it's a great shoe and I think that Brooks did a really good job and I mean it's the glycerin so there's there's not really a way of um, changing it except for the better so uh, apart from that, if y'all have any questions or any comments, uh, let me know and I will answer them because I love answering y'all's questions in the comments down below. And also, I have the I have the Hoka Bondi 5. So if y'all want me to do a review over that, I know for a fact that they didn't really change too much of the specs behind the shoe because it's been it has such a cult following. So if you want me to do a review over that, just let me know in the description the comments down below and I'll do that video because like I said I was gifted the five and I know the six just came out but if y'all want to know my opinion on it I'm sure that the I know for a fact that the new one isn't very different from the old one so okay you guys uh I'm done this is the end of my review if you guys like it I keep now I'm getting repetitive. All right, I'm going to go. Bye. <laughs>